Heavenly Father, as, uh, as we're lost in words for who you are, I pray, Father, that's where every heart is right now. That no matter what's our situation, circumstance, in this song that was just sung, Father, I know you heard our hearts. I know, Father, you can read every tear that fell from our eyes. And Father, right now, at this very moment, beloved church family, Holy Spirit, ask us. God Almighty, right now, is asking us, can we just be thankful? Can we just be thankful to the one who left perfection to come to this fallen world to save you? Could we just be thankful to the one that no matter what was happening, he chose to see your salvation because our salvation is in him. Say it with me, church, in him. Hallelujah. And so to, to, this morning, we're just going to, we're just going to come into the throne room with thanksgiving. Amen. You see, the beauty is, I know you guys heard that joke, that how do you make God laugh? Tell him your plan. Right? Ain't that funny? And I confess to you, listen, I'm a fallen man. We, I was just upstairs with Pastor, and um, I was up there with Brother PJ, and we were just worshiping up there, just talking, and just, just giving all the glory to God. Amen, Brother PJ? And it come down, the Holy Spirit just said, say it. And I looked at Pastor, Pastor looked at me, and I said, we are blessed then. Because God says that if you, if you make yourself less than, He will build you up. Can I get an amen? He will. I don't know about you, but I want God to fill me up. Amen. I don't. I rebuke Joey. I rebuke pride. Amen. I don't want none of that. I want none. Of that. And listen, I'm sorry. Please hear my heart, beloved children. I'm sorry that you sometimes, many times, that the messages come across and I sound mad, or I sound like I'm attacking you, or I sound like I'm degrading you. I, listen, that's not my heart or intent behind this. What my heart and intent behind this is, our Savior is coming soon. Yeah. Amen? And I'm just the crazy uncle. I'm the crazy cousin. I'm the crazy brother. You're like, come on, get ready. Come on. Listen, don't take that. You can't take that with you. Right? Leave that behind. Amen? Leave that behind. Say with me, leave it behind. Yeah. And I just pray in Jesus' name that this morning is the day of revival. This morning is the day of salvation. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's just pray and um, hallelujah. Let's see what God takes us. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we know, Lord Jesus Christ, nothing can come against your holy and mighty name. You are our God, our Savior, our Master. We are your property, Open Arms Community Church. This is your church building. We are your holy people, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we know that when we give you glory this way, Holy Spirit, you live on the inside. You are every breath, Holy Spirit. And as we breathe you in and out, we know that we are not of this world. We have nothing to do with this world. That we are your beloved children, Heavenly Father. So Holy Spirit, we bless your presence. And Holy Spirit, we know that you are the only teacher. Father, I thank you right now that whoever is the mouthpiece that speaks in your anointed church, Holy Spirit, that you would speak through them. I thank you, Father God, that you rebuke my pride, that I'm going to say what you want to say. Say, beloved church family, Holy Spirit, Spirit. teach me, teach change me, change bless me, bless me with your presence. In Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. How do God bless you guys? How do we not pray? Amen. We're going to be in Genesis. This is what's so awesome. We're actually, praise God, you guys heard me say this before. You can't go before Genesis, right? Well, you know it gets good and good. The Holy Spirit said, Let me show you how. <laughs> Pastor, is it a cool when the Holy Spirit says, Okay, you told me what you know. Now let me tell you. What I want to say, right? Can I get an amen? So we're gonna we're listen, I don't hallelujah, Holy Spirit gonna do it. Amen. I'm like you, we're just worshiping God Almighty. It's so good to see your smiling face, brother Todd. Hallelujah. I am so thankful in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So thankful. Glory to God. 
It's okay if I call him out like that. He's not a sin. No, he's still smiling. Listen, don't get crunchy if I don't call your name. I don't know if I do call your name. Listen, it's Brother Todd, okay? Say hi, Brother Todd. Hi, Brother Todd. Say, miss you, Brother Todd. Yes, you, Brother Todd. Hallelujah. Man, praise God. Hallelujah. Are you all excited to be in God's house tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. It's tonight somewhere, so don't worry about that. Hallelujah. He's coming. He's coming soon. I pray we don't get through this. The, 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 the message, the message today is titled God's Sword. But if you notice, if you examine that, you see the sword in there, right? The sword of the spirit. But if you examine that title, God's sword, it also says God's word. Yeah. Amen. So say with me, God's word, God's word. Is, is God's sword. God's sword. Oh, hallelujah. How many of you in Jesus' name, how many of you in Jesus' name, as you worship God Almighty, that his presence, Holy Spirit, in you is waving God's sword around you. How many of you want Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give God this. How many of you want that? Amen. Oh, how many of you want Come on now. Hallelujah. I want God Almighty waving his sword around my family. And then around my church. Open arms to the church. I want his sword. Hallelujah. When God does this, he can give Satan and go, Oh, what was that? No. I'm going to tell you right now, even keep it, it goes all over the group, your head falls off. Amen? In Jesus' name. Y'all ready? So we're going to go to Genesis because we're going to lay down the foundation, but I want, to, I want to show you the heart of what Holy Spirit wants to teach us this morning, and we're just going to be obedient and go through the flow in worship. Remember, we're going to go before Genesis now. How many of you have ever heard somebody say that? Amen? See, and this is why God says... You don't know nothing. Can I give an amen? This is why God gave us Jesus. That's all we have to know. Can I give an amen? That's all we have to know. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I pray that you receive this right now. I pray that your ears hear me, that your heart is receptive. It does not matter all the books in the Bible. You can, you can remember all of them, all the scriptures you want. All that matters is my Father God loves me. I believe in that. Because he gave me, Lord Jesus. He gave me, Lord Jesus. I'm not going to look at nobody, so I'm not going to look at nobody. I'm not going to look at nobody. But if you're sitting there, if you're sitting there and you're still like this, something wrong. I'm not looking at nobody. Am I looking at somebody? Am I looking at anybody right now? Am I looking at anybody right now? So don't get offended, right? Don't say, oh, that pastor picked on me. But I'm saying right now, God Almighty showed you how much he loves you. This perfect man, Lord Jesus, came to save you. There's nothing else to be done. It's so crazy to see God's love and Jesus stand on their feet. And then it's so crazy for you to take a stand, right? It's
Thank you for your obedience. Amen. So let's get right into this. Now the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. We're in the beginning, right? We're in the book of Genesis. Amen. But remember what I thought the Holy Spirit says. I'll show you where you can go even before that. And we're going to get into that here in a minute. But this is what the Holy Spirit wants to show us real quickly. God Almighty believed. God Almighty believed in the creation that was about to take place. Holy Spirit, as you guys know, we covered this in the past, was hovering. The question that I have for you is that here is God Father, right, beloved Kathy? Father. Say it with me, Father. Father. Here is God Almighty. Sister Charles, so good to see you. Hallelujah. Such an anointing over you, Jesus' name. I have to be obedient. Let's pray for Sister Charlotte. Heavenly Father, as we lift up Sister Charlotte to you, the entire Brady family, we're one house in you, Lord, covered by your blood. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your divine orchestration and what she has gone through. Hallelujah. Through. And Lord Jesus Christ, we only go through you. And Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you, we thank you in your holy and mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, for restoration, healing, and Father God, her best days are ahead of her. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because I got bicycles in the storage that we're going to ride bicycles together. And Father God, I'm just going to speak that out. Because I know she mentioned that. She spoke it, Father. And I know all of heaven was overflowing with, with her declaration. So Father, we just thank you for blessing her. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. Now, it's a mountain bike. It's not a tandem bike. So Brother Howard, you're going to have to get your own bike. So you got Father God who believes. He's God Almighty. He believes, right? And then you got Holy Spirit. He is the power. Holy Spirit is the doer of the word. Can I hear an amen? amen. You, you know, I always get this. People say, I want to have God's power. I want to have power. The only power it is is in His presence. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen? See, you notice what's in place, and it's just divine orchestration. That did not work anymore because there's no power. Right? You can have it, you can talk about how great it will sound and everything, but if there's no power, nothing present in it, it's just a paperweight. Amen? I know we don't got no paperweights in Open Arms New Church. Amen? I know we don't got no paperweights. Amen? We got warriors. Hallelujah. So the question quickly is, one, two, is this our God? Hmm. Say it again. Is this our God? Just uh, see, praise God, you didn't even let me finish. That's mighty rude of you. You all hurt my feelings. One, two, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or what is what is it show on that screen? Just Father, Holy Spirit. So you notice there's just darkness. Here we are in the beginning of the Bible, right? And we're going to get gooder and gooder, Brother Larry, because we're going to go even further before. But look at the result of not having Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Darkness. Look at the condition this world is in right now. Darkness. And the reason why it's darkness is, for one, Nobody wants to hear about Lord Jesus Christ. Just by the name of Lord Jesus Christ? Oh. And so you see this, and what's missing is God's Word. Can I get an amen? amen. Say with me, God's Word. In the, in the next verse following that, God said. So when God says something, when you say something, what is it? We're not in college now. Word. When you speak something, what is it? Word. Say it with me. Word. Word. Right? When you speak something, it's a? Word. God said. God said. God spoke. God said. What did God say? Let there be light. Amen? And we know what took place. Hallelujah. Here it is. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Don't you love it that in the very beginning of the Bible, it talks about our gospel? Christ. God 
said light. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Are you seeing this on the screen? God the Father said the word light is the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Can we give God praise? Can we give God praise for that? From the beginning of when God spoke this world into existence, He's already saying, you need Jesus. Did I make this up or do you see it on the screen? God said light. So what Holy Spirit has for us, remember, He's the only teacher. Listen, guys, I'm too dumb to say any of this stuff. I'm not worthy. Only God is. Amen? And praise God, Jesus is my Lord. Amen? Jesus Christ is my Lord. My, I died in Him. And Holy Spirit lives abundantly in me. Amen? He lives abundantly in me. Does Holy Spirit live abundantly in you? Amen? How do I pray that in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. How do I pray that in Jesus' name? Say with me, God's sword. We're going to go over believe, word, and power. Amen? This is what we call agape. agape. Hallelujah. Who's agape? Oh, <laughs> Amen. It's right there on that screen. Believe, word, and power. So, so when we talk about who our God is, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it takes you into the word God speaks. This is deep now. Father God spoke, let there be light. God, Father, spoke word. Lord Jesus Christ spoke the word, forgive them. If you guys just knew, I'm not, I'm not worthy to be forgiven of the stuff I've done. I'll tell you that right now, I'm not. But when I look at the Savior, and God says you're forgiven, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the fight, that's the battle. I am forgiven in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? I'm not, I'm no longer that old. Hallelujah. It's dead and gone, brother, right? It's dead and gone. That means no one, listen, people will bring it up. Family will bring it up. People will bring it up, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, that's when you look at them boldly in the eyes and say, my Lord Jesus died for me. Amen. And he lives in me. Right, brother? Made his dwelling among us. 
We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son. What's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. From the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah! Grace has a name. What's grace's name? Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Oh, glory to God. And just keep getting better and better in Jesus' name. Amen? So the question is, how to use God's sword? How to use God's sword? Amen? And we're going to be in 2 Corinthians 4, 13. I believe, therefore I have spoken, since we have that same spirit of faith. Say this with me, spirit. spirit. Hallelujah. This world is filled with demonic spirits. Yes. 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 Very much so. Amen? Amen. See, demonic spirits have power over things that is familiar to. Meaning that if you, if you say that you come from generations of alcoholism, you have opened yourself up as a child of God now. You have opened yourself up allowing those spirits to speak to you. Come on, can I repeat that? If you claim that you came from generational curses that come from alcoholism, Oh, my granddaddy, he used to drink, and my daddy, he drank, and then I started drinking when I was 12 years old, and I liked to drink, and drink, and drink, and drink, and drink, and drink, and drink. You know what? Shut it. Because what you're doing is you... May I show it? God Almighty shut this door by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah! God Almighty! Jesus into Utah. 
right? Right now, listen, I, I went online and I tried to pull up some pictures of what's going on, and I had to stop. Pastor, I had to stop. And I'm not saying this, I'm disobedience, but I, I went back to God and said, Father, I can't do it. And God said, okay, son, you don't need to put that up there. But I want to tell you right now, what started as me grabbing pictures, it's under chaos. Hate. Stealing. Killing. Destroying. Last time I checked in John 10, 10, who was that? Brother David? That's the devil. Stealing, killing, destroying. So how can you tell me that you know Jesus Christ is Lord when you be a part of that? Let me ask you something. Is God confused? Or is God a God of order? Amen. So the word of God is he's good, perfect, kind, merciful, loving, gracious. Amen. The devil is the accuser of the brethren. Stealer, thief, killer, right? Adulterer, perverted. That's the devil. Let's not confuse the two. Amen. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Hallelujah. And after you have done everything to stand. Everything to stand. Not one, not two. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? A brother doesn't need to say anything. But here you are in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the anointing power. God Almighty who lives in you says stand. You see, at this moment, Holy Spirit showed me this. And he said not to say anything, but to make you guys stand. He said, I'll make him stand. Right? And I, of course, I, like you, I'm missing all. God right now says, stand still. All hands lifted up. This is a complete surrender. Physically showing our Father God, we are in complete surrender right now, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for your presence. Holy Spirit, your presence will flow through every beloved child, every soul that you purchased, Lord Jesus Christ. Every beloved child, Father, for your anointing. Father, I speak a double portion over them, Father. On this glorious day, Father, like never before, that they will experience your Holy Spirit presence, Father, that falls down on them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Every house I declare blessed in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Every husband, I speak, Father, to your beloved sons, that they are husbands, Father God, that live according to thy word that bless you, Father God, in complete surrender. That they love their wives, Father God, beyond, beyond what you can ever possibly imagine. When you say, love your wife as Christ loved the church. I speak to every beloved daughter that's a wife, Father God, and I thank you for a fresh anointing over their life. Encourage them, Father God. Encourage them. Bless them, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that your anointing overflows from them. Your light shines through your beloved daughters. Father, I speak for all your beloved children, your sons and daughters, Father. In every season that they're in, Father God, that they see your light, most importantly from within them, that shines through the situation and circumstance. And Father, they see your glory in everything, Father. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name I pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise God. Stand still. Hallelujah. I love this word stand still because it reminds me when I was little, Brother William, and my mom would try to dress me. And I know this is going to be a surprise to many of you. I don't really keep still. 
Just try not to laugh too hard next time. But um, I was always fidgety. You know, I was always fidgety. And I couldn't get dressed. Pastor, I couldn't get dressed the way my mom wanted to dress me because I just kept on. Right? And it finally got to the point, I showed you my ear. There's somebody that walked up to me and said, oh, man, you do have a big ear. My mom would grab a hold of this. Yeah, oh, and she twisted and sometimes picked me up by it. You think I was still afterwards? <laughs> right? And it's one of those things that the minute you're like, no, nah, you're, you're right, most of the time I wasn't. But I love it when I type this out on the screen, Holy Spirit said, if only my children would be still in what I have done. If only my children would be still in how much I love them. If only my children would be still in what Lord Jesus Christ did for them. If only my children would be still that I'm no longer a God that's far away, but I live in them. You see, there's the biggest difference right now when you know that you are precious cargo. What makes a container precious? Right? So if we line up a bunch of children of God, we're not going to do that, amen? It's not about that right now. But I want you to put your spiritual eyes on. Brother Zach, if we line up a bunch of children of God, right? Men and women, boys and girls, and we line them all up, and everybody's just standing right here, right? Because everybody one by one, right? Everybody says they know Lord Jesus, right? Everybody says, Jesus is my Lord, Jesus is my Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that, right? Now the question comes, then what makes you special? <laughs> Who is inside? Many of you said Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's, let's close out. Praise God. Ephesians 6, and we're going to go over the arm because it's just suitable because God is teaching us how to say when we fight. And we're going to fight with God's sword. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Amen? Amen. As uh, you guys know, we just looked at the word of God, right? We just saw it. We're going to put that back up in Ephesians 6. However, Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit on 2021 wants to bless us with fresh revelation on this glorious day because God is alive.
The breastplate of righteousness is the word of God. The breastplate of righteousness is, it's not based on your righteousness, it's in the righteousness of the Holy One, who is God's Word, amen? What's His name, Lord Jesus Christ? Say His name, Lord Jesus Christ. And the gospel of peace is God's power. Lord Jesus Christ says, peace I leave you. I don't leave you peace like the world leaves you. I leave you my peace. Peace has a name, His name is Holy Spirit. Say it with me, this is the gospel of peace. So before we even move forward, God is saying, will you stand firm, right? Will you be still and stand firm right now? See, there's so many people that want to be preachers, want to be evangelists. They want to, they want to, I have a word. I have this to say. I have this to say. No, shut it. I'm being serious. Shut it. Because right now we're getting intimate with God. You see, right now, there's so many. There's so many right now. And I'm rebuking it right now by the sword of Lord Jesus Christ. There's so many religious, demonic people that they want to just do self-gratifying things and they want to talk about all the things they know and what they want to prophesy. We have Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other need. All Lord Jesus Christ is saying, will you be still in me? So do you know the truth that God loves you? Say amen. amen. Do you know the truth that his word, Lord Jesus Christ, made you righteous? And do you know the truth that the gospel of peace is Holy Spirit that Lord Jesus Christ breathed into you? Hallelujah. Let's move on. Praise God. Take up the shield of faith. Here's the shield of faith. So many times, Sister Katie, there's all these illustrations of this big Roman shield, right? You saw, you saw one of those earlier in the worship service. Big shield and fiery darts, right? The well, Holy Spirit wants me to teach this correctly. That we have one faith. Yes. There's only one perfect man. Yes. There's only one sacrifice that satisfied, satisfied God Almighty for all of eternity. Yes. There's only one way. Yes. There's only one shield. Yes. His name is yes. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When you rest in this faith, see it's not in your faith. This faith is all capital letters. This faith is the faith. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. But if you rest on your faith, how hard I can pray, how much, how much education I can get, what do I need to do, how many ministries can I do? No. Because the enemy is saying, yeah, you keep it up with that. You keep it up with that. But the moment that you rest, Sister Tish, in your faith that Jesus Christ is your shield, the enemy's like, I can't, I can't come near that. I can't touch it. I can't touch it. Look at this. When you know Jesus intimately, when you have the belt of truth, hallelujah, when you have the breastplate of righteousness, praise God, when you're standing firmly in the gospel of peace, hallelujah, when you know all these things, that you got that belt on, hallelujah. And I know my God loves me. And I'm not going to walk around naked. Right? I'm not going to be naked. Because I know my God loves me. Well, how do you know God loves you? Let me show you the word. His name is Lord Jesus Christ and he saved me. So you're saying you're saved? No, it's Jesus' salvation. And I am in Lord Jesus Christ. So yes, I'm saved because I'm in his salvation. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? When you know that you're in Lord Jesus Christ and the word lives inside of you, now you have this peace. You have this peace that surpasses all understanding. You know why? Because you know that God has gone before you. And you also know that now this word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, is alive in you through the power of his Holy Spirit. God has made you accountable to start speaking life into your future. Amen? How many you speak life daily on your future? Amen? I praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, speaking of which, there's that shield. Right? There's a spirit of faith, believing and speaking. Extinguish all fiery darts of the enemy. So let's practice. Because we said Holy Spirit's teaching us. We're gonna we're gonna show you how to use this sword, right? So let's practice. 
And God gave me permission, covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to say some things that are awful, but it's covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus. And it's for Holy Spirit just to show and demonstrate how to use this sword in your life. Amen? You'll never amount to nothing. Lord Jesus Christ is worthy. Amen. Look at you. Some of you need to do what I do. Go to the mirror. Look in your own eyes. And say, I am a beloved child of God. You say that God is blessing you, but look at all the struggles that you're going through. I am content with my Lord Jesus Christ. I don't think you heard me. You notice what took place right there? Less than half the room connected, but some of you didn't feel comfortable with that. Because it connected too close to home because you're going through something and it's taking you down a season right now. What God is asking of you, will you make yourself content that what Lord Jesus Christ did over 2,000 years ago, if God did nothing else for you, will you still serve him? Be careful, man. Amen. Come on now. We live in a generation now where it's like, God, I want this. God, I need this. God, I don't have this. God. Wait a minute. God provided all of our need through Christ our Lord. Which means we could just be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What else? What else? We're practicing how to swing the sword. Amen. We're practicing how to swing the sword. Oh, this community will never receive you. This world did not receive Jesus. Isn't that the truth? This world is so good in making us children of God feel uncomfortable. Feel like the weird ones when Call me what you want, but I am unique and peculiar. Yeah. Why? Because I'm a masterpiece of oh my God. Amen. Yeah. Say with me, I am a masterpiece yeah. through Christ my Lord. Yeah. This means God did not make any mistakes making you beloved. You are perfect in all your ways because Lord Jesus Christ made you. Amen. Yeah. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Yeah, and as you know, we like to do this Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're getting into the Word, into God's sword. That was just quick examples as far as how to just keep swinging that sword. Don't get quiet with the Lord. Amen. Listen, there's many, there's many of us. I'm not picking on nobody, okay? But there's many of us right now, when stress comes, right? When a trial or tribulation comes. You start getting quiet. Listen, I'm confessing to you. I do the same thing. So please, stop getting all puffed up and getting upset right now. Fight through that. I'm just a brother worshiping Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit says to rebuke this thing. And I want God's sword to be released in the atmosphere. Cut every demonic head off. Amen. Hallelujah. But don't get quiet with God. Brother Justin, don't get quiet with God. Because the devil wants you to shut your mouth. The devil doesn't want you to say, I am a child of God. I am blessed and highly favored. I am an overcomer. I'm blessed coming. I'm blessed coming. Amen. My God is on my side. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. My God has forgiven me. 
There is only one way that you can be mindful of your salvation. I just said it earlier. Holy Spirit said, say it again. It's His salvation. Amen? Amen. See, we live in, we, I don't know what happened, but God's teaching us. Amen, Pastor? God's teaching us every time. But listen, all this talk about my salvation is not ours. I pray, that, I pray that that just blows us away right now, right? It's His. And in order for it to be yours, He has to know you. He has to know you to give it to you. If I ask you to send me a package in the mail and don't give me my address, how's it going to get there? It's just going to float around. And maybe one day we'll end up in the front. Does it work that way? You put that in the mailbox, where's it going to go? Either back to you or it's going to go in the trash, right? Right now, does God know you? Amen. Hallelujah. Does God know you by name? Amen. Amen. And we're going to close with this, this last part right here. Praise God. Pray in spirit on all occasions, all kinds of prayers and requests. Say with me, with this in mind. Be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Keep on praying. Don't stop praying. Amen? Keep on praying. Meaning that whatever you're doing, you may be working on a farm. Hallelujah. You may be just forgiving Brother PJ. Going out there. This is all Holy Spirit giving you, right? Is it similar? I know you look a lot better. Is that better? Are you right handed? Don't let that thought go. Father God, I thank you for this thought. See, now this is where a lot of people, this is where a lot of people get detached from what God's trying to do in your life. Even if that thought is a tormenting thought, Father, I thank you for this thought. Father, I thank you for this thought. Because it used to torment me. But Lord Jesus, I submit this thought to you. I give this thought to you. Hallelujah. Come on, brother. It may be an emotion. It may be an emotion. That emotional thing gets a hold of you. You're like, Arr! You see Trisha's face like it's a Walmart all the time. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She chicken wings me. Will you submit it to God? You see, when the thought comes, the devil wants you to be quiet. And if you're quiet and you don't submit it to Christ, guess what? Then another thought comes. Come on, are we preaching now? Remember, Holy Spirit exposes this devil, right? This devil got no power on Lord Jesus Christ. Where does Lord Jesus Christ live? Hallelujah. Let's bless him, amen? That in the past, it used to take me down the season of depression, of worry, of addiction. But Father, I thank you that this thought, you give me the power to capture that thing in Jesus' name. And to give it to you, Father. I give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. We talked about the helmet of salvation. We talked about the sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvation is. Are you mindful of Christ? Are you mindful of Christ? The sword of the Spirit is, are you mindful that because Christ is Lord, that God lives in you? So you now know that there's power in your word. Say with me, there is power in my word. And this last but not least, with this in mind, and it just sums up the gospel. Of the good news, amen? The gospel of agape. With this in mind. You see, many people ask me in the community, people that I don't know and I may never see. I pray that I see them in heaven. If I don't, and it was a moment to just plant a seed. But they say, how can you believe in a God and look at this world? Look at how it is. Look at what's going on. You, you say you're a pastor? I, I get some crunchy people. I, go, I hope you guys know, just pray for us. Amen, pastor, myself, all the leadership. And you know, and they're, and they're so sold out. 
They're so sold out on, look at this world, how can you say there's a God? Why did God create such a world if he's so good, like you say? Every message, you say that he's so good, he's so perfect, he's so kind, he's so loving, then why? 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 I'll wait for them to be done. And I ask, are you done? Some of them say, no, I've got more to say. Okay, when you're done, I'll say something. I just don't see, you know, it's just kind of like, Farting, you know, just an extra gas in there. I just don't see how you can believe that. Now are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I listen to you, right? I listen to you, right? Now will you listen to me? Nine times out of ten. Yes, I'll listen. God created all this so that he can have you. Hallelujah. 